Hello everybody, and this is Raven, and today I'm incredibly excited to be playing my first ever playthrough of The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Just came out today, there was a slight delay with Steam, which made me live through 45 minutes of hell. But now we're here, and we're finally going to be recording the first ever playthrough of this uh, for my new YouTube channel, so thank you guys for watching. And we're gonna get started. And Isaac, of course, because nothing else is unlocked at the moment. So, all right, right next to the item room. I've been thinking about this for quite a long time, what the first item is going to be. And if it's awesome, you know, that's going to color some of my first, uh, you know, decisions about the game. If it's terrible, I might hate it a little. So let's see what happens. Okay, we have Halo of Flies. So not a new item, but it is a good one. So I'm happy with that. Oh man, and this is playing incredibly fluid. The 60 frames per second is pretty awesome. I will eventually figure out how to uh, how to record in 60 frames, but for now I think we're going to be doing the normal uh, 30 frames. Just for YouTube's sake. I'm still new to this whole video recording thing. Oh, a little dodge there. So, you know, it looks like a weirdly shaped chest. Can I get into that? Does it require a key? Alright, let's learn something new about the game. Okay. Hmm. Well, I can push it around, that's cool. Maybe you need a bomb to get into it. We'll see, if we get another bomb, we'll try it out. That looks like one of the evil hearts I've heard so much about. And know little to nothing about. Alright, three keys on the first floor. Thank you. Alright, we got our boss room here. Looks like we had a... Grandfather flies are a different color now. It's actually kind of weird playing this on a full screen. Like, I'm, I've been so used to playing it on a window. Yeah, let's go ahead and take the pill. Luck up. Cool. Maybe that will actually have, like, a positive effect in this game. Larry Jr. First boss. All right. Hi, Larry. Oh, look at you. You're, you're all big and, and new. You're not like before where there were two of you. Ah, uh, the beauties of having a new engine complete with things like poop physics. <laughs> so, yep, and he splits. That's gonna make for some interesting strategies. Alright, so, so far so good on the first floor. Haven't taken any damage yet. I'm feeling good about that. You know, it's like I've uh, played this before. Cat of Nine Tails. Traditionally a terrible item. Is it gonna be awesome now? Shot speed, oh, and damage up. So it's like it threw us a bone, you know, for having so much hate on, uh, <laughs> on Cat of Nine Tails for so long. All right, so let's uh, go to your way downstairs. Don't know what the clock means. You know, same, same video as before. Get off me, Isaac. All right, basement two. A uh, double room up there. New flies? Whoa, these things are fast. <laughs> I can see what they were talking about. One of the things that they mentioned during uh, the development of this was how they actually had to like intentionally slow some enemies down. I'm gonna put a... Oh, we don't have a bomb to put there. But they had to slow some enemies down just because of how much faster everything felt running at 60 frames per second compared to, you know, the flash uh, 30 frame limitations. So if we get a bomb, we'll, we'll look for our secret room. A little awkward. Ooh, a pig. Looks like a piggy bank. Let's see what this does. Piggy bank, my life savings. Okay. And no immediate effect unless we got three coins from it. I think that's uh, somewhat plausible. Let's go check out over here. We haven't found a... Uh, we haven't gotten to a large room yet. I'm really excited to see what the large rooms feel like. Um, Big old spiders. I'm gonna take care of them real quick. All right. So far, this is feeling really good. I'm enjoying this. The pixel art is gorgeous. Lay waste to all that oppose you. New descriptions for the terror cards, which is very welcome. Got a gray chest here. Looks like we got our bomb. We got some pennies. So we'll see if the arcade spawn rules are the same. 
And, oh, there's a large room to the bottom of us. I'm not going to go in that just yet. But I am going to check down here for the secret room. Because we can trade a bomb for a bomb. And that's usually a good decision. No secret room yet. Let's see if we can tackle this next boss with uh, without taking any red heart damage. See if the deal with the devil rules are the same at all. And, uh, yeah. So far, so good. Monstro! Alright. Oh, that was really close. <laughs> Alright. Alright. He seems, he feels a lot bigger now that he's been reskinned. In fact, like, the whole kind of the viewpoint of the game feels like it's a lot closer than, uh, than in the Flash version. Which is cool, and again, it might just be me adjusting to this full screen thing, which is interesting. I'm actually, like, I've, I was half tempted to just run this in a window. And we have our first unlock, Monstro's Tooth. Alright, we did get a deal with the devil, which is fantastic. And we'll speed and damage up, growth hormones. We haven't seen any new items yet, so let's see what's in the, in the devil room. Three items, that's new. So I know what Nine Lives does, I know what the pack does. Let's take this new item and we'll see what happens. Guppy's Collar. Okay, so it's a Guppy item. Should we take Nine Lives while we're here? It's risky. But, you know, the opportunity to become Guppy on the first run we ever do is very, very tempting. Um, let's do it. Nine Lives. Let's make this happen. <laughs> Alright, let's go check out this really large room that we've got. Oh, it looks actually like Guppy's Collar... Or wait. Alright, so let's see. We picked up Guppy's Collar, we picked up Cat of Nine Tails. Speed plus damage up. That's where our tears got bigger from, is from our damage upgrade. Oh, the scrolling is kind of weird. But, very welcome. Very different from the last game. Do we have a bomb? Yes, we do. So, do we see any tinted rocks? No, we don't see any tinted rocks. Wait, is that a tinted rock? No, I don't think so. Wait, this looks like a tinted rock. Alright, let's blow this up. Yes, it is. Alright. Alright, so here's our shop. Yeah, you know, see what this donation machine does. Probably not a lot. Um. I want to take five cents with me to the next floor, just in case the, you know, the arcade spawn rules are the same. So far, so good. We got a key for the next floor, which is awesome. Actually, we should go check out this double room. If there is a guppy item in there, we owe it to ourselves to check. So... And there it is! Are we going to turn into guppy? Yes! <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. First playthrough, we turn into guppy on the second floor. That is phenomenal. Alright. So maybe we'll get Guppy's Paw a little bit later. I don't know what the collar does. If there's some sort of extra Guppy synergy in there. But the fact that on the first run ever of Rebirth, the game has decided to turn us into Guppy is just fantastic. <laughs> Alright. So I'm assuming this is what the shop looks like now. So I don't want to go in there. Here's our... What was that? Demon Baby? Little brimstone. Okay. Alright, and that's my phone going off. Uh, so I don't know what all that's about. I'm gonna go check on that real quick. <clears throat> Alright, sorry about that. I'm turning my phone off now so there's no more random Legend of Zelda music, although it's fitting. And <laughs> let's try to do this without dying. The blue flies are welcome. Alright. Like, we're, we're guppy now. Like, everything's gonna be fantastic on this run. So long as we don't end up dying. And Brimstone Baby is like... <laughs> can't predict when it's gonna do what it's gonna do, but the fact that there's a Brimstone Baby makes me pretty happy. That's uh, pretty legit. In my opinion. Let's check out the item room. Looks like a Minecraft item. Like an iron bar. Concussive Tears. So maybe this is gonna increase our knockback. Um, that's a new enemy. It's pretty gross. 
It looks like you can actually charge up Brimstone Baby, which is cool. You know, since we're Guppy on this, I mean, this is all feeling pretty, pretty easy. This is our secret room. Nope. So I'm zero for three on checking for secret rooms. It looks like we're, we're gonna end up, uh, we're probably gonna end up defeating Mom on this playthrough, simply by the fact that we have Guppy. Looks like we've got like a weird dizzy effect on some of these mobs that we're hitting, so maybe the concussive shots do like a dizzying type of thing? You know, where maybe it stuns the enemies, that would be kind of cool. Tear effects. Oh, well, let's see, should we use a key? Okay, so look, there's two... There are two arrows. I don't know what that means. So let's open this and this looks like the item room. You have nine cents. Okay. So we'll come back for the compass if we get some more money. And at this point, whoa, new enemies. At this point, if we get if we get enough bombs, we're gonna have to check around for the secret room in hopes that we'll um, in the hopes that we can get enough money to buy the compass, because that would be super beneficial. So let's uh, let's do that right now. Are you over here? It sounded like a super secret room noise. All right. But content seemed like a secret room, so let's go. Maybe we have to bomb our way into this other room. Let's go check that out. Because, you know, even though we do want to win... Oh, there's a key in the ground. Cool. Even though we just want to win this run, you know, to start off Rebirth on an excellent note, a lot of this is about discovery. So let's see if a bomb opens this wooden door. Alright. Change. Maybe two bombs opens it? Two bombs. Alright, what's in here? Link's bedroom, it looks like. Can I... Can I do anything with, with this? Hmm. Let's see, what happens if we try to blow it up? Nothing. Alright. Hmm. Well, that was interesting. We're gonna hope our boss drops something like Pageant Boy of the Box. And we'll go about it. Sure, I'll find out that that room, like, opens a magical portal to somewhere, does something amazing. I'm just glad that there's new stuff in this, because that all by itself is, is pretty exciting. Alright, we got Gertie Jr. Seems like his mechanics are pretty the same. It actually, like, feels easier to dodge things now, because of how much faster the game runs. Alright. HP up, that's awesome. So if anybody's wondering about Link's Bedroom, the layout looks just like Link's Bedroom on A Link to the Past, which is one of my favorite Zelda games that came out for the Super Nintendo back when I was a kid. It was pretty awesome. So this looks like our boss trap room. Can't get in there. Maybe if we get an arcade on this floor, we can do some action. There is an arcade, and it's right here. So... You can play the blood bank down and then check out that room. So long as it works the same way. Alright. Let's do one more. Let's see, can we get... Yep, we can get 15. Fantastic. Let's give each one of these a play for old time's sake. Pretty fly. Cool. We're gonna do this down to 15 coins. Alright, let's, uh, let's go check out this, see what's in here. Just a chest? I don't want to open that. <laughs> Not worth it. Not for just a chest. Skullboy enemies? How do you work? Do you, uh... Oh, yep, you're a portable turret, <laughs> and you suck. <laughs> now you're dead. Alright, so if we find... Hoping we get another key here so that we can open our item room. Oh, that scrolling is weird. It's gonna take a while to get used to that. Got a battery. 
guess it's not gonna let us pick it up unless we get a better space bar item. Okay. Seems like these spiders are much easier to deal with if you have flying and can just get right next to him. We have two keys, let's open this room. Alright, let's donate up and then we'll take we'll take the spirit heart. Again, I don't know what this donation box actually does. But you know, it's a new thing. We'll play it. Whoa, throwing bones. So this is actually like the calm tour of of Isaac. Since we haven't really had to like concentrate much on dodging or anything. You can become guppy this early and it's just, you know, total snowball effect. So we got little mini dingles. Got rid of them. Dispatched with ease. Lots of spiders on the walls. That's disturbing. Flies are doing hard work. Let's go check out our boss room. Chubb! Hello Chubb, it's been a while. Doing great damage here between Brimstone Baby and... Thank you, Brimstone Baby. Little Chubbies appeared in the basement. And Spelunker Boy, because we took no damage. Fantastic. Blue Cat. HP, tears up, shot speed down. I think that's what all that said. Pretty awesome. Let's go find our uh, item room. We can just kind of tackle this floor with him. Is there no item room? Oh, there's one direction that we missed. Let's go backtrack and check that out. Thank you for the key. And it looks like we picked up a golden key along the way, so we're not going to have to pay any extra money for this. Got a new pill. We'll use that in a minute. We don't want it to actually accidentally be telepills and then we miss out on the item. Although, you know, it makes me wonder if some of the more uh, buggy things or some of the Easter eggs, like I Am Error, have completely changed around. Double shot! Sweet! So this was one of the items that Tyrone picked up the other, uh, the other day. And we didn't really actually get to see much of what it does. So let's take this pill. Tears down. Well... Not good, but at least we know what it is. And we should be fine. Alright. And down we go. Kind of worried about that clock now, because we have unlocked Samson. Sweet! Alright, so we'll just be trucking right along. Thank you, Pretty Fly, because I think you absorbed that shot for me. Doing good on keys. If this is anything like original Isaac, you know, we're going to be just going to mom. I'm really loving how like the high amount of flies that we have is, is staying between rooms because before you could build up a whole bunch of flies. Oh, there we go. There's some damage. Two damage. Uh, you could build up a bunch of flies and then it would still limit you down to uh, to five every time you change rooms just because again of the flash limitations. So the fact that now we've got this nice healthy entourage following us is pretty pretty awesome. So I guess normally this room would be quite the pain in the ass. Let's go fight our boss. It's Loki! Have you changed at all, my friend? Oh man, all these flies made short work of you. Caffeine pill, speed up and size down. Alright, that seems good. Let's go find our item room really quick. Now we're moving really fast. That did not sound good. Whoa! Mom, I'm not supposed to be fighting you yet! <laughs> Get out of town. That's creepy. Alright, little... Mm-hmm. Alright, that guy's done. Check out our item. We got the Ankh. The Ankh, the Ankh. So that's good, so now we've got a uh, 11 lives with a question mark. Question marks thanks to Guppy's Caller. So if I remember, Guppy's Caller actually got teased. And I think it gives you like a 50% chance of... You're creeping me out, Mom Hands. A 50% chance of coming back to life on, on death. 
so we'll see if that actually stays true. I feel like this is like an extra large floor. Maybe took some bad damage there. And this looks like the shop. We got 15 cents. Blue fly. Hive mind. Giant spiders and flies. I hope they're my giant spiders. Yeah, we'll give them plenty to the box. It's gotta do. It's gotta do something good for us, right? No good deed goes unpunished or maybe unrewarded. Where did we miss? All right, so we missed a couple things back here. Let's go check this out real quick. Oh, and this is going phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenally, which is great. I'm sure, like, I'll go on like a huge losing streak at, uh, right after this as penance for becoming Guppy on the first go. It seems like Guppy is even more uh, overpowered than than he used to be because of how you can just keep building these blue flies, you know, room to room. Like if your tiers are, are strong enough to where the blue flies don't need to do anything, it seems like you can uh, kind of store up a great deal. Yeah, we're not going to pick that up. Well, I guess we could. Hey, our first uh, mini boss. Here's down. We'll hang on to the tower. We may as well open up this chest up here. It's not gonna take us that one pill. You know, our damage is crazy right now. We got all these blue flies helping us out, so this room is not consequential. Let's take these. You've unlocked Lazarus! Fantastic! Lazarus is a new character. Got that for five spirit hearts, I would imagine. Oh, loads of unlocks. I think it's time to go down to the next floor. So yeah, this feels incredibly good to... And we got some evil hearts. Sweet. And two evil hearts. Most excellent. So yeah, this feels incredibly good to be starting off uh, Rebirth this strong. You know, I was never like an amazing... We're gonna take death again. I was never an amazing uh, vanilla Binding of Isaac player. You know, I had just as many losses as, uh, as the average person. But, you know, to be able to start off this well, feels good. All right, so, oh, that's not good. Thanks, Evil Heart. So I guess those skulls, you can't damage. Uh, so we'll try to avoid them in the future. And pick up some coins. And we'll move along the way down here. We got red nubs in the corner. My least favorite guy is still shooting tears that are very precise. I guess we should be looking for secret rooms. We've just kind of been uh, ignoring that, even though we have a bunch of bombs in the house. It's not here. Man, we are just cruising with the damage. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, hey, buddy. You want to give me some stuff? That's seven coins. <sighs> so good. I like the new item sound. Oh, that was not smart. Whoa, graphic glitch. Hanged man, not important. Yeah, I imagine that there's going to be a pretty good amount of support in the kind of patches and you know all that kind of stuff as time goes on. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, we may as well poke our heads in here. A blue map has appeared in the basement. Ooh, so maybe donations are related to item unlocks. That's kind of interesting. This room's creepy. Alright, let's, uh... Let's go look for our item room before we fight the boss. What do we got? Judgment. Ooh, let's hang out of that for the boss room and see if we get any more money. Alright, what do we got? Oh, we got one of the skulls. We got some nice bats. They look pretty friendly. Another balls of steel. That's brilliant. And, yeah, I'm gonna say this is a one run at this point, to quote, you know, everybody's favorite Northern Lion. It's a one run! I'm, if, if we lose this, it is through some freak accident of evil that will befall us. Like if the game crashes, or... There is some new and amazingly difficult monster instead of mom, or they've completely retooled the mom fight into something that 
11 spirit hearts can't pay. Infestation! I became Lord of the Flies! <laughs> we've, been, we've been doing a number on the achievements and unlocks uh, on this run. Which I feel good about. I, you know, it's nice. It's like the game is opening its doors and welcoming us in. It's just like, hey, you know, we're glad you're here. Thanks for playing, you know? Alright, we don't need to play that. We do have 8 cents, so that kind of makes our judgment card worth it. So we'll play that when we get to the boss room, or if we get like a deal with the devil room again, which I think we're due for. We've been doing pretty awesome, so... What's the, what is this icon? Oh, it just means there's a tarot card down there. Okay, interesting. New things to memorize. Get these fires, because we should. Oh, 9 cents for judgment. Alright, who do we got? It is the mom fight! Oh boy, looks the same. Oh man, she's gonna go down quick. Alright, and that's it. Looks like we unlocked uh, quite a bit of achievements. His mother, fueled with the desire got an to serve interesting God, ending here. was bearing down on Isaac. As I told you, my lord, I love you above all else, Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of the line for Isaac. His mother was far too strong for him. But just as he accepted his fate, New God intervened, uh -oh. sending an angel down from above. All right, Isaac, we'll help you out next time. Oh, thank you everybody for watching. It has been an absolute pleasure making this video for our first run ever. And uh, there will be many, many more Binding of Isaac Let's Play videos. Uh, it's one of the things that I hope to do in addition to, you know, more Street Fighter and a lot of the other games that I'll be playing. But um, I'd have to say that for first run, this went exceptionally well. And I'm actually really enjoying seeing all these new credits. Oh, even I got thanks, because I played the hell out of the original. We unlocked the womb, new challenge, the harbingers are, are back, so we're cubes of meat, which is fantastic. And yeah. So thank you everybody for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the uh, like button below. If you want to stay up to date with everything, feel free to subscribe and let me know if you have any comments or ways that I can improve these videos down in the comments, and we'll see you next time.